time is nothing but a magician's trick. Or is it? We're used to time zipping along like a car, always pointing into the future. It creates cause and effect, lining events up one after another, like dominoes. Sometimes it stretches between moments, getting so slow it might even want to stop. And it's got a spotlight on right now, because that's the only moment that truly matters. But there's a new theory that it might not exist at all. We usually think of space as having three dimensions – up and down, left and right, forward and back. And everyone thought that time was a separate thing – just a universal clock ticking away in the background, and it's the same for everyone. But then Einstein came forward. He decided to surprise everyone back in 1905 when he introduced his special theory of relativity. It said that time is another dimension, just like the others, and they're all tied together in one big space-time. Based on this, it turned out that time can change depending on the speed at which you move. Now imagine that we take two twins. Twin A stays on Earth, twin B takes a journey into space on a spaceship moving at a speed close to the speed of light, let's say 90% of that speed. Twin B travels to a distant star and then returns to Earth. For Twin B, it feels like the journey only took a few years. But when they come back to Earth, it turns out that Twin A has aged significantly more. They find out that 20, 30, or even more years have passed on Earth. That's all because of the phenomenon called time dilation. It happens when we're reaching speeds close to the speed of light causing time to slow down for the traveler relative to someone who stays in one place. Ten years later, Einstein proposed his theory of general relativity. That's when we learn that time changes not only based on your speed, but also based on gravity. Back in the day, Newton thought that gravity was some magical force that makes objects attract each other. However, Einstein proposed that this isn't a force, but more like an after-effect. Picture the space as some huge cloth. When you throw a heavy ball on a cloth, it curves. Now, if you throw some small balls around it, they will naturally approach the heavy ball. At the same time, massive objects like stars and planets cause space-time to curve around them. When there's something super heavy in space-time, it curves the matter around it. This curvature tells objects how to move, and this is what we call gravity. This idea created all sorts of cool predictions that later turned out to be true. Bending of light by gravity, black holes, and time dilation around these black holes, just like in Interstellar. This theory revolutionized our view on everything, but we might be on the verge of another revolution. Some philosophers have a crazy claim. They say that the things we believe about time are all just ideas in our heads not facts of the physical world. This idea, which breaks the traditional view of time, is called the Bloch universe. It's backed up by Einstein's theory of relativity, but extends it and makes it more complicated. Imagine the universe as a huge sandwich. Hmm. This sandwich contains every moment of time, past, present, and future, all at once. Each layer or slice of the sandwich represents a different moment in time. And all these layers exist simultaneously, rather than one after the other. In this model of our world, the past, present, and future are all equal. Unlike our everyday experience, where the past is gone, the future hasn't happened yet, and only the present is real, the Bloch universe says that every point in time is just as real as every other point. Imagine your birth, this moment right now, and what you'll be doing in 10 years from now all exist together in this block. It also says there's not really a flow of time. We're used to time flowing from one moment to the next, even with Einstein's theory. But in the Bloch universe, the feeling of time moving is more about how we experience and remember events than about how time itself works. It's like reading a magical book. All the pages exist at once, but you can only experience the story page by page. Now, this implies some scary things, like destiny, and whether free will actually exists. If everything is already laid out, does what we do matter? For example, you clicking on this video was already predetermined in the Bloch universe. 
Every choice you've ever made was an illusion. You're just a program following a code, but with an ability to understand its consequences. This would explain why we order junk food at midnight, knowing that it's a bad idea that we're going to regret. But some scientists argue that time's flow and direction are as real as it gets, because cause and effect still exist. If your birth, current moment, and you in the future with gray hair all existed at the same time, you'd be able to visit your past self at any moment and already knew what your future self is like. So this whole debate might just be about how we piece together our stories of the past, not proof that the future isn't waiting to unfold. There's also a never-ending battle between general relativity and quantum mechanics, which only adds spice to the debate. On one hand, general relativity plays with time like it's a stretchy Play-Doh. The flow of time can stretch or compress depending on the speed or gravity. On the other hand, in quantum mechanics, time isn't something that can be manipulated or changed. It's a constant stage, upon which the particles and forces of the universe perform. These two fields have been fighting for a long time now, and scientists are struggling to unite them in one cohesive theory of everything. Although there are some candidates who try to merge them in a logical way, like string theory. Now, string theory sounds scary, but it's simply saying that the entire universe, with all its particles and atoms, is made up of ultra-tiny vibrating strings. Each string can vibrate in separate ways, like the strings on a guitar, and in many dimensions. The way these strings vibrate determines what type of particle they will be, like an electron or a quark. Another idea, called loop quantum gravity, says that space and time are made of tiny loops. Whether it's strings or loops, unfortunately, they would be so tiny that we simply don't have strong enough equipment to check them out yet. So until we test these theories, they can't be proven. What's interesting is that both ideas don't really need time to explain how the universe works. We think of things like tables and chairs as real, even though physics doesn't describe them directly. We say they emerge from the tiny particles that make up the universe. But with time, we're not sure how it would emerge from something else. But no matter what the answer is, you're going to be okay. If it turns out that it doesn't really exist, then it could make everything feel pointless. But think about this. We still lead our lives, and we still experience what feels like causation and make sense of everything. It still feels like it was our choice to order that junk food at midnight. So does that being predetermined really matter? In any case, we've been wrong about plenty of things we thought were set in stone. Right now there's a big split between the block universe and our traditional theories. But we'll learn the truth over time. <laughs> That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.